In these videos, I'll be showing you how to remove and install the valves, as well as their springs and related components. As you can see, I've got a few different tools here, from more conventional style valve spring compressors, to one of these newer tools that I've just seen recently for scooters, and I'll show you a couple of other methods to remove and install valves. The first method I'll show you uses a traditional C-style valve spring compressor. This is a kit from Pit Posse. I believe it was about forty to fifty dollars when I got it. It's a very nice tool. Comes with adapters to fit different valve sizes. You can also get something along the lines of this tool which I bought years ago before I had this and I believe it was probably ten to fifteen dollars so it's a lot more economical but it's not as nice of a tool. To begin with I've got to find the adapters in this kit that fit the valves in my head. I'm going to work on the intake valve so I'll start out with this adapter and that matches up pretty well with the intake valve. It doesn't have to be a perfect match as long as it's roughly the same size. Then I'll need to find an adapter that fits onto the spring retainer. Just to be clear, this is the valve spring retainer, this large piece that sits on top of the valve spring. I've got a 23 millimeter adapter here and that fits well right over top of the retainer. Now that I know which adapters I'm using, I just need to attach them to the tool. With this Pit Posse tool, it's very easy. They just snap into place. Now what I'll do is take the head and kind of slide it between the two adapters on the tool. I'm going to get the top adapter to sit centered over the spring and the retainer here. And then on the bottom side, I want to make sure that the adapter is sitting on the center of the valve that I'm working with. And once I've got those positioned how I like, I'll start turning this clamp and it'll start to compress the valve spring. Once the spring is compressed, you should see these two keepers in here should be free from the valve and you can remove those. And the easiest way to remove them is to get in there with a magnet and just pick them up that way. Once the keepers are out, set those aside somewhere that you won't lose them. Then you'll want to unscrew your valve spring compressor slowly to relieve the pressure on the spring. Now you can see there's no pressure so I can go ahead and remove the tool from the head. Now I can remove the valve spring retainer. Again that's this top piece. Outer spring and inner spring. There's also a little valve spring seat down here. It's basically like a metal washer or shim. If you're going to be moving the head around you can remove that. It should just pop off. And then you can push the valve out. Just push down on the valve stem and you should see that it comes out the other side. You can pull it out the other side of the head. So here's the valve. This is the washer or shim that goes below the valve springs. You should have an inner valve spring, an outer valve spring. Again, this is your valve spring retainer. You should have two keepers. And then you're just left with this valve stem seal which sits over top of a valve guide in the head. If you're just replacing a valve, you may not have a new valve stem seal. If you do want to replace it, Sometimes you can get in there with your thumb and forefinger and just kind of grab it, twist it a little bit and pull it off. Right now my fingers are oily and that's not going to work. Or you can take a small flathead screwdriver, just kind of get underneath of the seal itself and pry it up a little bit. You may have to do it from a couple sides and then pop it off that way. But you want to be very careful not to damage the inside section here where it sits against the valve where it won't seal anymore. You've also got kind of a spring clip around here and you don't want to damage that. Now if you're going to be replacing them it doesn't really matter but you still have to be careful not to damage your valve guides. To reinstall it's even easier. You just 
put it over the valve guide and press down. Make sure it's seated securely. To reinstall a valve, you're going to start on the combustion chamber side. You're just going to take your valve stem, slide that through here, and you're aiming for that valve guide hole. So you'll slide that in through the valve guide hole, push it up until it stops. Then hopefully you can see your valve is sticking through the head all the way up top. Now you'll take this, slide it over, and it should fit somewhat snugly around your guide there. Then you can take the inner valve spring and slide that on. Then the larger outer valve spring goes on. And now you can take the valve spring retainer and set that on top of it. Now you'll need to set the valve spring compressor up on the head again just like before. So you'll want to hold the valve spring and everything in place get your one side aligned with the valve, the bottom of the valve there, the face of the valve and again get the other side lined up with the top and start screwing that down to compress the spring. Now I've got the spring compressed and you can see the valve stem sticking up here through the center and if you look right there where I'm pointing there's a groove in the valve stem and then if you look at the keepers, hopefully you'll see that there's a ridge at the top of the keeper. You'll also notice that the top of the keeper is thicker than the bottom of the keeper. That ridge needs to align with this groove in the valve stem. I've got this compressed just enough that my valve stem is still sitting a little below the retainer there. So I'm going to take one keeper, again making sure the thicker side of it, the side with the ridge, is facing up and I'm going to kind of try to drop that down so it sits just beside the valve stem there. Then I'll take the other and do the same so that these edges are butted up against the edges of the other keeper. And this is the hardest part for me because I always fumble these things. All right, I'll push them down a little bit so you can see here I've got both keepers in there kind of butted up to each other. Now I'll start compressing the spring and once it gets down a little bit you should be able to take both of these kind of at the same time and push them down into the retainer again. I need to compress it a little more. But there you can see I can push them down into the retainer a bit more. Hopefully you can see it there. And the tops of them should line up about with the, uh, the groove in the valve stem there. And once you think you've got them lined up, you want to put your finger kind of over top of both of them so that they can't fly out and start relieving pressure on the spring with a tool. And you can see right now they're seating pretty well. I'll go ahead and relieve the rest of the pressure. Before you actually take the tool all the way off you want to make sure you look at them to see if they're seated. And here's a better look at it installed. You can see there's a little bit of gap on each side of the keepers. You want to be very sure that both of these are seated before you remove that compressor tool because otherwise if one's not seated or both aren't seated they could pop off shoot across your garage workspace whatever and those little keepers are very hard to find and once you're sure that's seated and you've got your tool removed from the head then you should be good to go that should be ready to use it's the same process if you have the more basic version of the valve spring compressor you won't have to choose any adapters you've got one end with kind of a fork on it and another end that's just flat but you can see that the fork goes right over this spring seat here and leaves the rest of it clear. Then on the other side, you've got this flat piece over your valve. Works the same way, you just crank it down and you'll start to compress it. If you don't like that method, check out the next video and I'll show you how to use this tool.